Matt, what's going on, brother? How are you? Your hair looks fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. I'm trying, I'm trying to look fly today. Okay, you're trying to look fly? All right, all right. Matt, what's going on, man? Uh, nothing much, you know, just working. Working yeah. every day. No, no, this is what you got to do. Yeah. Now, by the way, for those of you who don't know, Matt's one of our new interns out here. He just started probably, what, a month ago? Yeah, about a little bit more than a month, yeah. Yeah, a month ago, and he reached out to me. Mev, how old are you? I'm 22. 22, okay. He's yeah. 22. He's at Boston University. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And he reached out to me. He said he had been watching my content and videos, and he had won some contracts. So I said, look, you got to come on and tell the people because, you know, there's a lot of self-doubt out here, and we want to encourage folks. And then also, you know, we just want to – I've got a quote here on the screen. It says, the mediocre teacher tells, the good teacher explains, the superior teacher demonstrates, and the great teacher inspires. So today we want to do some inspiration, okay, because I think a lot of times, uh, as I say, and as you know, uh, Meb's now answers the phones. He's answering the email. So if you send an email to service at govconscience.com, he's the one that actually answers the emails and is responding to you out there. So he's the one that you're going to be interacting with. Maria is now doing more high level stuff. So she's not taking the emails and she's not taking the calls. So this is who you're going to be speaking to. But I just want you to know, right, that you're not speaking to some regular guy. He's just not some random kid at Boston University. So Mep, tell him, man, the extraordinary things that you've done and what you're working on so that the people can know exactly who they're talking to. I, like, you know, they probably like, oh, this guy, he's not Maria. You know, I want yeah. Maria on the phone. No, I'm not. I'm not as I'm not as pretty as Maria. So okay, I'm there you go. Pretty. See, all right, it's that's me. <laughs> gonna get me. Listen, but you have your own right. You've earned your own keep. So, tell us now, how did you kind of get into the space? Yeah, so I came in from East Africa. I okay. came to the U.S. for like school, and my dad used to do a lot of government contracting uh, back in uh, East Africa. So I was like, you know what? One day I was just like, you know, my my pockets are kind of empty, and I was like, you know what? I need to like see if I can make my own money. And see uh -huh. how that how that goes. So I was like, I right, let me try to do something I I know how to do, right? So I was it's a bit different than East Africa. So I came in, I was like, I was trying to look online, I was like, there's nowhere I can find anything about government contracting. Like, why can I find anything? So then one of my friends sent me a link for P Tech and I was like, I I spoke to them on the phone, I was like, This is what I do. They're like, What industry are you in? What's your annual turnover? And I was like, Oh my god. I was like, <laughs> no. I was like, it's already right, I need over, a business man. plan. I was like, it's already over, man. Like, I had an idea of how it worked. So I was doing my research and, and everything online. I used to, like, I spent like about one month. I started my company about a year ago uh, okay. in August, and I was like, I need like figure out how this this works, right? So I went to P Tech, and then they they asked me like all these questions. They were like, it was kind of like heartbreaking as well because I they were like, oh, you have you could don't you have to have you have to have past experience. You have to have it, and I was like. I was like, no. I was like, my dreams are already. <laughs> like, my dreams are crushed. I'm done. I was like, I'm it's quit. over. I throw the over. I'm throwing the towel. But then I was like, so I went to my friends. I was like, guys, it's kind of crazy, but it's what I'm trying to do, right? Who, who's with me? You know, it's like I, when I went to school, they were like, there were like five of my friends are chilling, uh, in on the porch. So I was like, I was like, so who's with me? Who was trying to do government contracting with me? And everyone's <laughs> like, no. I was like, damn. I was like, all right, that hurt. But two of my friends asked me, what's government contracting? So I was like, I broke it down to them. I was like, let's watch a movie, War Dogs. So I sat down. Okay. And I, was like, okay. I was like, we can do this, but with other things. I was like, right. don't think about right. like ammunition. Let's think of some other, other things. And he's like, so what do you got in mind? I was like, I really don't know. Like, I was like, I have no idea. Sure, so right, we right. were like, all right, let's see how we're going to do this. So one of my friends gave me funding. So I, I knew him uh, through school. I used to talk to him. Like, we should like talk about business. He's like an entrepreneur. His, his family owns hotels. So he got like, he gets like a crazy salary. A crazy salary. I'm like every like every like month his dad will give him money, right? So he's uh -huh. like, I'm looking to invest this. And I was like, I got your the best investment right now. Okay. I got okay. you. And I got okay. you. So he gave me he gave me ten thousand dollars to start off my company with. And I was I, I, I asked my friend who's an accountant now. So all these guys work with me for free. Like I don't pay them. I, they just like are in the idea, right? So like right. they love the idea. So yeah. I was like, let's build something right now. So like a baby Zuckerberg. Friend, you're like oh, a baby yeah. Zuckerberg. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like he was a bad guy, kind of low key. But you know, I'm trying to. Think, right? <laughs> uh, uh -huh. So I was like, let's start looking at what we can do, right? So we started looking at budgets. We started looking at like state budgets, like who has like the biggest like budget. So we started looking at New York, 
And I was like, okay, let's start looking at some samples about some small municipalities within New York, right? Okay. So like we look at Rockland County, we look at other, other counties. And I know you don't champion like uh, uh, state, but this is like, you know, it's like starting tiny, tiny. Yeah, so I was no, like, okay. I was like, all right, let's look. So I found this tiny, tiny county in New York that had a contract for four pages, right? It was like a four page contract. Uh -huh. It was so easy to read. I was like, that's not bad. I was like, and then they were like asking for clay targets, clay shooting targets, like, right. like little ones, right? So I was like, I don't know what to do about this, but like, let's start looking at online. So we started Googling some stuff. And then I found this guy who supplies clay targets in Canada. So I was like, do some research about how to find historic data to figure out what my competitors were bidding before, okay. the person who won before. Right. And I found the Freedom of Information Act that allows yeah. us to like have like, you know, free access to like the public procurement. So I was right. like, all right, let's see how much this person like won this contract for last time. It was like $8,000. And my supplier was, was quoting me at around it was 8500 already over that and i was like i didn't have my margin or anything i was like damn so okay. i was asking my friends like so what should we do he's like let's put in an offer at ten thousand, ten thousand flat and i was like you know what it doesn't hurt like we're not paying anything else right so right. when we filled out the the documents he sent it out oh that's my friend right there anthony frasquelli <laughs> that, that's him that's him that's the guy i did it with all right um, anthony, yeah. anthony all right so we filled it out that together really right? and we sent it out and then you know, days went by, like weeks, you know, we were like, you know, this is a proof of concept. We want to see if this actually, like, we, if we hit now, we'll start right. moving forward with it, right? right? So he's like, I got an email. I turned over the next, like, uh, like a week after I sent the, the email, right, from Westchester County. And I, I was like, just woke up. I looked at my phone. I see purchase order. And I was like, I was like, no way, bro. I opened this thing. I zoomed in. I, like, looked at it five times. I was like, that says my name. That says my company name, and that says the price we want. I lost my mind. I woke up my neighbors. I ran downstairs <laughs> to my mom. I was like, we won the contract. My mom has no idea what I'm talking about. Right, and right. like, I was like, this is the best day of my life, right? So uh, it's crazy. So we finally did it. We, I called the, the guy. I was like, yes, can you deliver to this place? I right. drove from here to Westchester County for like a profit of $1,000. And my mom's like, why are you driving all the way there for just $1,000? Like, People were looking at me like, I was like, I'm telling them, I'm, I can't go to party on the weekend. I have to go to Westchester County to uh -huh. deliver my clay targets. They're like, how much are you making? It's like $1,000. They're like, ah, that's not, that's not too much, bro. Right. And I was like, it's about the relationship. You don't yeah. understand. I was like, I'm right. not in a relationship with these people. So they give me more contracts. Right. Right? Right. Right. So I got there. I started like unloading the clay targets myself by hand. Because I didn't want anything to fall. Anything to break. I was there for two hours unloading, wow. so unloading stuff. And then they were like, Thank you so much. And then, so what happened is, this is, this is, I still have, this is like what motivates me. So I keep this in my desk. This is the first thing I ever sold the government. So I keep uh, this and always think about, this is play targets, right? So this okay. is like, like, like uh, I think it was like 10,000 cases of these. So this gives me motivation, right? So I, I started calling them afterwards, right? Asking them, how did we do? Can we do anything better? Like, you know, how was our service? They were like, you are the best, you were the best like clay target suppliers we've ever had and we're gonna give you contracts every two months for clay targets like the same amount and i was like <laughs> i was like you i'm the best you've ever had. right you're like wait are you? I was like, are you serious, man? this is the first time i'm doing this man like it's uh -huh. so he's like but he's you like, know what man first of all you just said something and anthony kind of echoed that which is you're a great relationship builder people look at it like a thousand dollars like oh it's just a thousand dollars right because they weren't thinking, so they would have might have had a drop shipper drop ship it, or mm -hmm. you know, and it could have been yeah. broken, maybe mm -hmm. arrived late. That's what the last person did. The last person did that. They broke it. They broke so many of their targets, and they still build them for it. Right. And they were like, "No, we don't want to do this." So right. that relationship that you champion so much is the key. Like it's right. it's huge, right? And you even sold it for a higher price than they were used to paying. Yeah. And they were just happy with the service that I provided to like right. get it to them. So I was like, right. you know, what? that's amazing. So th that happened and then it, it was crazy. So then Anthony and me were sitting down. We're like, okay, this is cool. This is actually working. Let's do something else. Yeah. Then I went to Staples, like, same thing. This ag agency asked for, for labels, for like labels to stick onto things. So I went to <laughs> Staples and I was like, you know what? Let's try it out. Why, why not? I bought it from Staples. I sent in the offer and they accepted it. I was like, I went to Staples. I was like, what is happening? And this is, it was crazy. So I started winning those contracts, right? And, uh -huh. and then me and Anthony were trying to figure out who we can look for, for some advice, for some mentoring and how to take this to the next scale, right? right? So we sat there, we were like researching online and Anthony called me. He's like, man, I found the guy. 
I was like, who do you find? He's like, I found the guy on YouTube. This guy on YouTube is doing, he's telling, he's telling people exactly what you're telling people. And I was like, no way. I was like, really? Who is it? He's like, Eric Coffey, look him up. So I started looking up your videos. I went to Anthony's house. We sat there for like hours. Pull up, put your videos on the big screen. Montage. Eric <laughs> Coffey, Eric Coffey, Eric Coffey. I was like, our jaws are on the floor. We're like, this guy is saying, because I, t- I was telling people, right. that, you know, we could do this business, but no one was listening to him. No one was taking me right, seriously, right? right? And, right. It, and, and the P-Tech was saying that people use government contracting as an additional source of revenue for their main yeah. business they have. Yeah. And I was trying to do a, a business solely on government contracting, right. Right? right? So I was like, there's no shot that I'm going to make this. Yeah. And then you came along and you were like saying this and we were just like, mind blown. We're like, this yeah. is so sick. Yeah. And then, we started doing it. I linked up with you. I messaged you, and life's been good. Now, let me ask you something, because this part, all right, and I'm, I'm very proud of your story. I love your story. It's great. And by the way, one of the things that I told males when we first came in is, hey, look, I'm very proud of you, but that's not what I teach. <laughs> yeah. I teach the relationship yeah. building part, but yeah. not the local context. But I'm very happy because he did practice. Uh, he, you know, he, he got an understanding of how contracts work. He proved to people that you didn't need past performance. He proved, right, that the guy who's the first, and one of the things that I say all the time, the government does not get the best people. They get the people who actually go to them. So that's why there's so much room and opportunity for all of us who want to be better contractors, who want to actually give good service to charge even a higher price because they're not getting the best people. They're just getting the people who respond. Yeah. And oftentimes that's people who are accustomed to doing government contracts. They take it for granted. Like you said, they give them broken targets and they still charge them. And yeah. so those people really, I found myself, Mips, personally, when I started working in Connecticut, they were kicking a guy off the base because they kept giving him chances. He wouldn't listen. They were so used to being the man on campus and getting all of the work and all the money that they're like, oh, you can't find anybody else. And I'm the only one. And we, mm-hmm. we showed up, came along, kicked them off, and they brought us on and gave us a $4 million contract. Yeah. Now, the funny thing is, now you met me, right? How, like, is, how long ago was it that you met me? Like, we're like we, I mean, not met, but like we DM'd and we start talking about working together. Yeah, and, that was over the the summer. I think it was in July. Okay, July. Now, you went to a meeting with me. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> so let's remember. talk about the meeting mm-hmm. and what went down because not many people get a chance to go to meetings with me. And yeah. by the way, wait, hold on. Before you say that, if you did not watch Monday's video where we talked about mentors, and one thing that Meb's friend just said is he's a relationship builder. And we talked about giving, right? Giving, giving, giving. He reached out to me, right? But now, I wasn't the first person he reached out to. You also reached out to some other people. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Who else did you reach out to? We talked about it today. I reached out to the guy who, was, who actually was the war dog, like the actual, the dude who actually is the guy that the movie's based on. Uh-huh. And I, I messaged him. I was like, and my first, I think my first line was, I think this is going to, this is probably a long shot, but <laughs> do you think you could give me some like advice? I have a lot of these questions. I'm trying to get into government contracting, but I'm not trying to do ammunition. I'm trying to do something else. Could you show me how you started? Right. And he wrote me like two words saying what questions. And then just, I poured it on from there. So one of the things that I think that that's a great illustration is the fact that you were not afraid to reach out to people. Yeah. No, you right? Can't. I think a lot of us, we, so many of us have watched the movie War Dogs. I don't know how many of us actually thought to reach out to the guy who was the movie was based off of. Yeah. But you did. And then also, you watched my videos and then you reached out to me. Yeah, because I feel like it doesn't hurt, right? All you see is like scene and then not reply. You left on red, you get ghosted. And it's like, all right, we move on then, right? Yeah. It's, so now you reached out to me. We talked. You said, okay, man, I'm, we're gonna, this guy's smart. I like him. He's energetic. We're going to bring him on. Now, um, and then it so happens that I'm wor- reworking up in Boston area, in that area. I've got a meeting coming up. Tell, yeah. talk, go tell us the story. That's crazy because I was like, everything in life happens for a reason, right? Because I was in Florida, right. and you were, you were like, you're from Florida. And, right. and then I came back to Boston, and you were doing, you were coming up here. And I was like, this dude is following me. This is great. No, I'm uh-huh. joking. But like, I was like, this guy is like always like around. So I was like, I got to take this opportunity. So I, I reached out to you. I wanted to get to like, you know, get to know you, like get to see you like and right. like 3D But sure. after this. Yeah. And then I had no idea that I was going to a meeting. So, so I, I thought it was just like, a, hey, what's up? How are you? Like, you know, and then I came in and then it was like a proper meeting. And I was like, 
and I, you could probably tell how clumsy I was because I was like knocking into stuff. I was like, <laughs> I was so stiff. I was like, I don't know what to do, man. But it was a really eye-opening experience, and it got me excited because, like, to be part of a community like this, like of like-minded right. people, right. and like. It's not just people talking about it, but giving advice, but actually showing practically that this is what we're doing. Right. And it, it get me excited because you guys were talking about such big things, you know, like talking about such big things, like in the M's, you know, right. I'm just dealing with the thousands here. You guys right, are right, right. like in the hundreds over there. And I was like, yeah. oh my God, I was right. like, I'm in the right place. But I didn't say anything. I was so <laughs> nervous. One of your friends was like clowning me all the time. He's like, you don't talk, you're a ventriloquist or something. I was like, hey <laughs> man, because I'm used to, talking to my friends about this because like that's a level of like no right where you're, like, you're comfortable more, at. Yeah. but you guys are like miles ahead and so it just makes me want to push myself even more <laughs> your boy said he's the only one ever put up with you talking about government contracts <laughs> oh yeah no i i talked his ear off like he was it was like with the phone we're like we're at a night out we're at the club me and him would like have like little little conversation like i'm like let's, let's come here with the music's quiet i'm thinking about <laughs> this let's skim my mind right now you know yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. but it's no. crazy because i use a nugget that you said, like you said, like, for example, reach out to the contracting uh, person that you already right. know and ask, what else can I do? What else can I provide? Right. And I did that. I called them and they were like, yeah, you supply us the clay targets. Can you supply us a shotgun ammo to shoot the clay targets as well? And I was like, and they were like, this is the price we wanted at. And we will give you like, we'll give you the like whole contract for a year. And I was mm. like, wow. I was like, I wish I had a guy to do this. Wow. Wow. That's how I reached no, out that's... to you. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. No, let me tell you, that's a good story. And and by the way, that first meeting that we were at with that Meb sat in, we were with one of our tribal partners that we had just brought into town and he has a hundred million bonding. And so we Meb was in on a meeting with a tribal partner, two companies that did twenty eight million dollars each, and we were with a former chief of contracting for GSA who had an unlimited warrant and had written contracts to the hundreds of millions of dollars. And that was his first meeting that he sat in with us at a big round table that he couldn't even fit in the room because it was like 10 people in the room and he had to sit off in the corner in the back and, and just be quiet. So, yep. uh, <laughs> yeah. but it was, was exciting. Great. It was exciting. It was no, but and, this is definitely uh, like, I was, I was like shocked that I found someone on YouTube who does exactly what I was telling my friends, let's do. And you said it, and I was like, it's meant to be, man. Right. And then, you know, and again, one, and then you were able to actually come in and see what we did, like, in real life. Yeah. Not like, uh, you know, just behind the screen or behind the YouTube. So you were actually able to come in and see us putting paper to pen and plan a strategy out. And then now, obviously, you, you with us working together, uh, you get to hear the conversation about the things that we're working on moving forward. Yeah, no, it's 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 crazy. It's been a it's an insane journey, you know. <laughs> no, no, and we're just this. getting started, buddy. We're just exactly. getting started. In fact, today we connected one of our students who won the contract in Africa. You know who I'm talking about. We just connected her with another potential client of ours that uh, does base management contracts to go after something over in Africa for base facilities management. So we're gonna we're gonna get to Tanzania. So don't worry, we're gonna get there. We we are going to get there. We're already in Africa. We're gonna yeah. do a base management contract in Africa. So Tanzania, we're, it's next. Africa's the move, man. We're, nice. we're gonna, we'll get there. We'll get we'll take you there. We'll take you back. Hey, GovCon family, visit govconedu.com for course information. Find out how you can get enrolled right now for one price annual subscription for all of our dozen plus courses and offerings. Visit the website govconedu.com.